Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Baruch coming at you from the back patio door. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. It's Thursday night. I actually just got off of work and thought that I would do a quick review of something very tasty, show off my opera pipe, and talk to you a little bit about this guy. So, we'll start out here. This, my friends, you can see the nomenclature there. It is a Shalom Deluxe, but what's important about it is that it's one of the oval, oval bowl opera pipes. This was sent to me by Dance Dad Piper himself, Josh. And let's see if you can see it on this side. If you can read that, it says that it's century-old Mediterranean briar, and it's made in Israel, of course, because it's the Shalom Pipe Factory. And I've let that go out. So I hope you guys are doing well. What I've got going on tonight is a little classic burly cake from 2016 sent to me by John in Nashville. It's uh, got Kentucky and Tennessee burleys in it, some Virginias, and it's topped with a bunch of stuff. But despite all that, I'm finding that the bowl itself is not overly flavored and sweet. It's, it's there. It's just really nice. This is, as the name says, a very classic, old-school kind of blend. Mm. Very clean in the mouth, kind of nutty. Um, a little bit of cocoa in there. Yeah, not overly sweet. Sweet in kind of a earthy sort of way. also kind of a tap tart or sour quality to it that's very pleasant uh, probably from the Virginia I'm guessing um, really nice that's let me put the pipe down and and I'll give you a peek at it see the the tin note or the jar note makes me surprised it's not sweeter because it's got a pretty sweet sugary cocoa-y even slightly anise-y uh, smell to it and it it was a cake it was a beautiful hearth at home cake um, you know it's some of the cake is still intact it's also been rubbed out and it was sent to me baggy and it's four years old so you know it's not fully um, intact anymore, and that is just fine. It actually rubbed out quite nicely because of that. And I'm drinking a little somewhat local beer. This is from Madison, Wisconsin. This is the um, Ale Asylum's Fuck COVID beer. <laughs> it's just a 4% Pilsner. It's actually a very clean, clean beer good for tastings. Doesn't uh, interfere too much with uh, the pipe that you're gonna gonna smoke. Mm. Mm. And the retro hail, I almost want to say I taste, taste some cinnamon and now I'm getting a lot of kind of cocoa like drinking chocolate cocoa. Mm. This is really good stuff. Thank you so much, John, for sending this to me. I am, um, you know, I have some hearth and home blends, but uh, this is one that I'll have to buy. Mm. Very nice. And again, I could almost swear I taste a little cinnamon. 
Okay, well, hope you guys are well. Short video, just wanted to kind of have a taste and show things off, and that's about it. Hope you guys are doing well. Have a spectacular Friday and a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, and if you're in a rainy part of the country, uh, stay out from under the big trees. It's like isn't. <laughs>